welcome back to Pretty Athletic, The Impossible Dream. This is episode 3. Um, we've actually skipped on a, quite a bit, to be honest. Um, I did say in the last episode that I was going to um, come back to you with uh, down, uh, but I had a bit of a bit of a few hours spare last night, so I, I carried on playing. Um, we've had a bit of an ups and, up and down since, um, since the Salford victory, which by the way was seen around the world. Quickly a beat in the class of 92. I don't care that they don't play for it, they might as well do. That's what I'm just saying. They might as well play for Salford. Um, after that though, we went to Workington and were 14th in the league, lost 2 1. So that kind of the bubble kind of burst. I think a lot of the players went out and got pissed. And I just thought to myself, well, it, maybe this is the kind of season that we're in when we're so up and down. It's unbelievable how up and down we are. I said this at the start of the season. I've got the petter check of the Evo Stick Nob Premier League in my net. No matter how good or how bad they play, we're always in a game because we've got the beast from the Eastern goal. That's all I'm saying. We were second after the Salford game and we've gone down to fifth. Um, but Skimmersdale have had a few defeats, so there's only two points between them and Blythe. Last time there was like seven points between them and Salford. It's the most exciting league apart from the Premier League and the Championship. There's no other league like it. Anybody can beat anybody. Um, I kind of want this now, we're 16 games in and I really believe that we've, we've got a chance of actually winning the league, we just need to sort out our defence and I, th and I feel I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm going to get in and attack him right with Fielder to go out wide. Um, Brad Riley's doing a job, I did say in the last game he does a bloody job, but he doesn't do that good a job. So, uh, and look, we've, we've lost six and there's a team down at the bottom somewhere, yeah Ramsbottom lost six and they're 17, we lost six in the fifth. So. I do want to say one thing, Shawnee Mullen though, as he's turning into a signing and a half, honestly, here we go, let's just make this screen where we can see it, he's played 9 now and he's scored 6, uh, 5 in the league, 8, he's got a 30 yard in the last game, so we are starting to reap the rewards, shall we say. Uh, yes, we are chasing him and I bloody want him if he's good enough, because as I said, Jack, Jack, Jack Riley, Brad Riley, I do get the players' names mixed up. If you ever watched the documentary one when Gary Lineker went to Newcastle uh, for match of the day and he went to meet Bobby Robson and Bobby Robson went to Leon Clark and started calling him Shirley Amiobi. I'm not saying I'm an old racist but I'm, I'm, that, I'm on that level where I get players names wrong all the time and I'm calling them this and I'm calling them that and that's why I think sometimes I get a bit mistaken during the game, uh, during the games. I'm shouting players names and they're not even on the pitch. So straight into a game. Stamford. Apparently they're called the Daniels. I mean, I have no idea what all that is about. Um, right, the only change I'm going to make. Egerton's out. Jake Allen is in. We're at home, so we're going to go attacking. Assertively. I'm going to do that. They've all listened keenly. Right, well, we had a bit of a problem with the uh, recording just then. So, we did score. I only realised at half time that we were only problem with that it stopped recording. So these are the two goals. There's been two goals in this half so far. We took the lead. We've only had, we haven't even had a shot at this point. We've been absolutely terrible. We took the lead through through Omar with an absolute disgraceful goalkeeping from some guy called Head. Oh, you've got to get there. Reed. Oh, not alive. What can I say about that? Caught napping. I've been terrible at that. Both sent off. Well, James, you're actually coming off. I don't, I'm one of those managers, I don't mind about taking my centre half off, I'm not worried about structure or anything like that, if they're not playing well, then they're not good enough, that's, oh, I, I, you've got the ability, come Gary and get centre half, Will James, I'm paying you as well, I'm paying you good money, you have a part time contract, come on, I'll tell you what, well, I never, I only do this in uh, extreme circumstances, but I encourage, we need to encourage, we need to encourage something, we need to win this match, Nothing. Here we go. Come on. I'm eighth now in the league. I could have gone second. Right. That would be cool. Come on, Thompson. Chance. Oh, get in, Ali. Off the bench. Off the bench. He's fucking done it for me. Look at that. Back up to six now in the league. Get in. Oh, I needed that. Oh my, did well. He started playing a bit better, did Omar. That goalkeeper's shit. He's absolutely terrible. That's another one that's gone off in the going to minute. Can we win it? Here we go. Oh. Come on, Brad. Oh. 
Oh, he's just. Oh, that was a chance. That was a chance. Four seconds. That's the thing about this league. You never really get a chance to score after about 85 minutes because everyone's so knackered. They just play the game out. It's like an American football game. You know when they just walk onto the pitch? That's what we're getting with this. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. No, I'm not happy. So we've dropped out of other promotion places. Um, yeah, I like that. There's no fewer than 14 players that I've been on free transfer to I He's still out. So, right, this is the team we've gone with today. We've had a bit of a shake up. The back four's the same, goalkeeper's the same, midfield's the same. But Alan's come in for Riley. Thompson's gone over to the right. Straight into the game. We're going attacking. I've decided to keep it the same, even though we were very poor in the last game. Chance to move to third if the fixtures go our way today. Ricky Ravenhill. I mean, that's a blast from the past, isn't it? Christ, man, how old is he? 34, Christ, he's a fucking him. Play for Danny. He was good at Danny as well. Anyway, look at that. I'm tight marking. Sergeant Baron's all, he's all over it anyway, Sergeant Baron. I mean, cautiously, we need to really like get stuck into these today. I've had enough of this. Come on, Raven Hill. Ah. Ah, I still not believe it. We cannot defend for shit at the minute. This rate, well, I can't be out of the job because my media prediction is 20th, so I'm, I'm definitely going to be in a job. What is he doing there? I can't do anything about that. I literally can't do anything about that. The ball's gone out wide, he's crossed it in. Horan missed it by a mile. Will James, he's had one good game, but Horan is starting to have a horror show. What is this? Don't you get sent off. Do not. You do not get sent off. Martin Atkinson reckon this. I can't imagine him wrecking this kind of game. It's a bit of a drop for him from the Premiership all the way down to the uh, seventh tier of English football. I was full of beans in the last couple of, uh, after the Salford win. Change it. Oh, Jesus. Raven is just passing it to pieces in the field. It's been a frustrating game. I'm not going to lie. A very frustrating match. Not much. I mean, get off. I'm just a bit sick, honestly. Thompson, you've been rubbish as well. This is going to be a very, very short episode. Let me just say that. 95 minutes. What the fuck is going off, lads? I mean, they're knackered. They're absolutely shattered. The only thing I can do is bring an area on and just hope he can pull some sort of magic out of the bag. Can we save something in the 86 minute? We've gone past the dreaded 85 minute mark where nothing happens. It happens now though. I can see this going in. It says it's 2 0. We have been trounced. Absolutely trounced. Look at this. Far from the back. It's all the time in the world. Ricky Ravenhill. You bastard. Oh, it's free now. It is. It's just turned into an horror show. Barraclough. And that's it. Game, set, and match. We have been truly, truly battered. I'm not happy with him at all. Short and target. Mullen, stage fright. That's all I can say. Ah oh well, this has been Green Shimpad. This has been episode 3. And I bid you farewell. I'll see you next time for another episode of The Impossible Dream.